Well, I got one cantaloupe that's mostly yellow and another one almost yellow. I've got a green one here by this watermelon. I've got uh, a green one and a yellow one there. A green, a yellow one there, and if you can look beside it, you'll see another Alababa. And there's an Alababa hiding over here in all these weeds. Anyway, I'm gonna put this camera down right next to this thing. First I have to get the watermelon off the stem. I wouldn't want to push on it and hurt the stem. And I'm gonna sit this on the ground and I'm gonna lean on this thing and maybe it'll crack. Nope, it didn't crack. I'm gonna Try this one here and see if it'll pop. I hope this one will grow a little bit longer. I'm holding this camera with my left hand so it might not be working out too good for you. I hope this one uh, will grow a little more so it'll really be a big one. Nope, no pressure. It didn't pop inside. Well, that's it for the melon patch. I've been letting this go in these cucumbers you can see i've got some uh disease disease problem and i really need to go in there and just cut out the bad parts so it doesn't spread i've got a little bit started over here those over there have a few bad leaves on it but mostly they're pretty healthy and I can see uh, two okras growing. My first okra pod. Well, my first two okra pods. It's been slow going this year on okra because we had planted three times. And uh, when I walk down this row, you can see these are definitely shorter. But there's some flowers in there and there's probably five or six growing. One thing about okra, since this garden isn't in our backyard, those okra right there will be too big to pick in like three days. Maybe four tops. They're really fast growing. And if they get too uh, uh, stringy inside, they get too hard, then you really can't eat them. And if you can pop them with your fingernails, just like a squash, if you see a squash, you pick it up. And you can pop it, put your thumbnail into it, and it goes in real easy. It's going to be perfect to eat. And okra is the same way. And when you cut okra with a knife, you will uh, hear the fibers cut. And when you do, you're not going to, we fry it up. And you wouldn't want to eat one that's hard. You can uh, cut, it's hard to cut with a knife. A uh, sharp knife will go through okra really easy. And, uh, a slight little paring knife, you can feel the uh, sinewiness of a too mature okra. And you know not to use it to cook because it'll be so chewy that you have to spit it out. Anyway, I got to pick some veggies. People ask, what can I put on a compost pile? There are some apples, some cucumbers, cattle, cantaloupe. Apple cores, eggshells, bananas, more apples, cantaloupe, lettuce, cantaloupe, tomatoes, and apples. Of course, tomato seeds will last five years sitting in an envelope on your, in a bookcase in your house. So that's a bad thing to put on here, but uh, they got dumped on here and I'm not going to dig them out. Uh, the heat really won't kill them in a compost pile. They'll last a pretty good while, and uh, if every one of those has 50 seeds and there's 20 of them there, that's a thousand seeds that could come up in my garden next year. But that's what you put on a compost pile. These blueberries have been blue since uh, before I put that sign up. The birds aren't even eating them. They're just not getting ripe. They're not swelling up. We've tried to water them some. And the secret to a blueberry 
You should try to find the biggest one you can, and right now they're all sort of on a small size. But like that one, that's bigger than maybe the others. If you barely touch it between two fingers, if it doesn't fall off, it isn't ready. It's not ripe. You should barely have to touch it for it to fall off. See, I'm pulling on that branch, and a bluebird will pop off of there if it's right. Otherwise, it's not, and it would look blue, and if you put enough sugar on it, you could probably say it was blueberries, but... They're just not getting big and they're not getting ripe. And the birds aren't even here. Now if the birds don't want you to eat them, you know you don't want to eat them. But anyway, we picked a quart and a half and that is all. And I can't even find a big one in here that might fall off in my fingers. Try that little one. See, it's pulling the branch. Generally, they'll just pop right off in your hand. Mystery. Thanks for watching.